Did you know that a male fox is also called a dog fox and a female fox is called a vixen? Despite its name, red foxes can have babies with other colors, including white and black. I'm your host, Romy Casagnino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongo Bay to get notifications about our latest videos. The red fox is the largest of the true foxes. Species are part of the true foxes category when they belong to the genus Vulpes. Red foxes live across the entire northern hemisphere, that is North America, Europe and Asia, plus parts of Northern Africa. Due to their wide range, they have 45 recognized subspecies of red foxes. Besides its large size, the red fox is distinguished from other fox species by its ability to adapt quickly to new environments. They have successfully colonized many urban and suburban areas. During the breeding season, foxes stay in their dens. The female fox gives birth to a litter of 2 to 12 kids or pups in the spring. When they are born, they have a dark grey coloration, but within a month they will grow a new coat with their true color. Both the male and female fox cares for the pups until they are ready to leave in the fall. Red foxes are nocturnal and constantly hunt for food. They take advantage of the night and stalk their prey, much like a cat, and pounce on them to catch it. Red foxes have excellent hearing. They can even hear an animal underground. Thanks to their ability to hear low-frequency sounds, they can prey on rodents digging in the dirt or snow. The species primarily feeds on small rodents, though it may also go for rabbits, birds, reptiles, young deer, and even fruit and vegetable matter. The natural predators of red foxes include wolves, coyotes, jackals, bears, and mountain lions. Humans also pose a big threat to red foxes, because people hunt them for their fur and in some parts of the world kill them in large numbers as pests. But due to their stable population, red foxes are listed as least concerned by the IUCN. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the prickliest of rodents. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time.